some pages with you and see if uh, you have the same thought that I do. Okay, so we'll start off over here with a quick reminder about water fluoridation. Uh, I don't have to tell you about that, do I? Okay, makes you passive, right? Okay, um, we'll get back to that. We'll probably see this page again, but anyway, I listened to this, you know, and I did it the right way. I didn't listen to a uh, screen recorded copy. I signed up at WND for permission. Uh, you know, they just asked to join their mailing list basically and you get to watch the video because I didn't catch it live. So, try to do the right thing, give credit where credit is due. I'll link you to this, you can watch it. I encourage you to. Um, because in my mind it proves beyond the shadow of a doubt that the birth certificate is fraudulent, but you see my mind works on a little deeper level and quite a while ago I told you that by the end of the coming summer, early fall, I expected martial law to be instituted and now I'm even more sure of it after hearing Sheriff Apaya and what he has uncovered. You see the basic fact is that for many, many years, I don't know, somewhere around 30 or so, maybe more, uh, it was possible for anyone in the world to have obtained citizenship through Hawaiian law, which said that if you had parents that worked and paid taxes and lived in Hawaii for the 12 months prior, to your birth, even if you weren't born there, even if you don't know how to find it on a map, they can apply for a birth certificate. So it's quite clear that the birth certificate of Obama is fraudulent. Now we have to um, decide whether he knew that or not. Um, I won't debate that because there's a big problem here. You see, without saying so, even though Sheriff Apaya did say that this should be looked at as a national security issue, that was basically just mentioned and left behind. I did see lamestream media, Channel 5, CBS, or here rather, them distract and beat up Sheriff Apaya, which is obnoxious, which is exactly what the mainstream media does, distract and uh, spew filth. So I expected that. But the reality sets in is that thousands and thousands of terrorists could have obtained U.S. citizenship through all those years through a Hawaiian birth certificate. Now, whether they did or not really isn't the question, is it? It's rather the government will use that and make you believe that. Let me refer back again. Reminder. Passive. Acceptive. Okay. Um you'll believe that. You'll want protection from that. Don't worry, the UN's working on that to take away the guns of these thousands of terrorists that have snuck in. But now, you add today's revelation onto what's already going on. Um, let's first go and explain again what martial law is. Martial law is the imposition of military rule by military authorities over designated region on an emergency basis, usually only temporary, usually, usually, when the civilian government or civilian authorities fail to function effecti effectively, maintain order and security and provide such services, when there are extensive riots and protests, extensive riots 
in protests. Okay. Let's go check the Occupy network, shall we? Planned downtime, okay. Well, I was here, let's see if it'll reload. The page has been set, yes, okay, perfect. Okay, so there are almost three million people in the Occupy network. Extensive riots and protests. What, well, Kevin, where are these protests? Well, let's go see, since there's a Google map of it. Here's the United States. Uh, is that at least 50% or more of the country is covered by blue indicators? Is, is that me? Is that extensive? Well, let's, should, do we need to go define the word extensive? extensive riots and protests. Does this qualify as extensive riots and protests? Okay, but Kevin, that doesn't mean they're going to institute martial law. Well, let's consider one more thing, shall we? If you look into how many preppers there are, and let me remind you that preppers Liberty government, um, people that stand up for liberty, you're a terror suspect, so there, there's a great number of people there. I don't have a statistic for that. But also people that are prepping are on the watch list uh, equal to a terrorist. Okay, so we have extensive protests and riots. We have three million people involved in those riots and although there is a factor of overlapping numbers because I'm sure that some of these preppers are also members of the Occupy movement so we can't give uh, this a full three million added to the other almost three million but it would be fair to say that probably at least five million people right now documented just across two sources are in the same category as terrorist and do fit under the definition of what martial law uh, requires okay and now the number of terrorists that could be in this country is in the, the thousands, tens of thousands, millions? I don't know, but the information that Sheriff Opaya has uncovered would make it feasible for millions of terrorists to have obtained U.S. citizenship. Folks, uh, do I have a solution? And I know I get a troll comment about this. Do I have a solution for all this? Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. Because I don't know the level of integrity that this country has anymore. Because let's remind you again of the passiveness that is here. The acceptance that is here. The brain damage that is here. This is just from this one factor. Let's, you know, we could factor in all kinds of other things. Vaccinations and otherwise that would add to this issue of sleepiness and laziness and acceptance among the people of almost anything. Um, but I think it is time to make a move to take this country back uh, because this is what's going to happen uh, as far as I can see is that sometime before the election Obama will institute martial law there won't be an election. And the birth certificate issued, as Judge, I mean, uh, Sheriff Apaya said, he's not accusing Obama of even knowing. Obama's parents could have been, or anyone, anyone, that's the thing, the parents don't even need to be the ones to apply for the birth certificate. Anyone, the Rothschilds, 
the Rockefellers. You, me, any of us could have obtained a birth certificate for Barack Obama if we could show his parents worked and paid taxes. So how many terrorists knew that and went there and took jobs for a year and then had children and then sent those children to America with U.S. birth certificates fresh from Hawaii. I don't know. I don't know how many did. I, I don't know if any did. I don't know if it was only somebody in Obama's life that did this. Or maybe it was a regular practice, a paid service, you might say. And maybe there are tens of thousands of people just like Barack Obama with fraudulent birth certificates because it is fraudulent. It is fraudulent. Even if it's the original one from Hawaii, it is worth shit. Because anyone can get one. You could put those fuckers in a bubblegum machine. <laughs> uh, that's the state of the union, folks. That's the state of the union. I still encourage everybody to contact their local sheriffs and the governors and we all need to take this country back before martial law is instituted because if they're the ones to institute it then we, we won't be able to ever take this country back it will be forced upon you this is a powder keg folks extensive riots <laughs> It's not funny. I shouldn't be laughing. It's critical. It's... It's very, very concerning. Very concerning. And it's pretty obvious that Obama is under the control of somebody with the laundry list of lies that he has, 150 or more from what I remember then he's being controlled by whoever obtained that birth certificate who leveraged people to make sure that Obama got into office. So, where do we go from here? Not completely sure, but uh, we've got to do something. We've got to act fast. We've got to get organized. It's time. 